car accident. What? Jay's got a car accident. Who did? Benny Kim. We're, we're triggering because of the last time we had this time. He got hit head on. son and his girlfriend are lucky to be alive after they were hit head-on by a speeding car in their neighborhood. The whole incident was caught on camera. Panic from a dad who saw a car crash right in front of his Modesto home. Inside the parked truck, his son Ben, his girlfriend, and their little dog. The loud bang had Jeff Schaefer thinking the worst. And I started going out towards the front as fast as I could, and then whenever I see the dirt fly and the, the impact, you just have this, you, you, your, your children are in there and you're just like, as a parent, you're just thinking of the words. He had to have been going 80 plus miles an hour and, and the road is such a tiny road. It's a, it's like, there's not even room for two cars to go down the, you know, pass each other. The other speeder racing down the street sped off without checking on anyone. What the f*** is wrong with this year? It's been a freaking year guys it's been a freaking year for everybody the world our family there was another freak accident in our family last night involving my brother Ben if there are younger kids watching just be aware that this content is not my usual content my brother Ben and his girlfriend Kim were involved in a head-on collision last night and they were not even driving there's been a lot of trauma in our family this year. Um, my Grammy found out that she has cancer at the end of last year. She then moved into my aunt's house, which is, um, you guys know Amanda, that's her mom. That way my aunt can help take care of her because she has, she's going through cancer stuff, chemo, all this stuff. Within a few days of moving in to her house, a car crashed into their home, killing my uncle's mom and, and landed on top of my aunt and my uncle. They suffered major, major trauma and their house was gone. My aunt, my uncle, and my Grammy moved and there's so much more to this. I'm just giving the long story short. With everything going on, it has been decided that my Grammy, who has cancer, is going to be moving to live with my uncle in New York. Ben and Kim have been helping her pack and move. Last night, they had gone and taken their truck and helped my Grammy move a couch that she has. That's the only reason they have that truck. They don't ever usually drive that truck. They normally drive a very small Honda Fit car. They happen to be in their truck, and thank God that they were in their truck. They have a trailer hooked up to the back of their truck and they were out at my grandma's house because they were moving. The couch that they went and picked up for my Grammy is one that she doesn't want anymore so she's getting rid of it. And they were transporting it for her. They were leaving my grandma and grandpa's house. My grandma and my grandpa live in a very remote place and out in the country. They used to live across the street from my dad's house, my papa. My papa is also the one whose house burned down. This was maybe two years ago, I don't know, I don't even know. Um, it's just pretty much a house and a ton of property out there. So the houses are very few and far between. It's very, a very rural area. There's um, just lots of farming. And four teenagers decided it would be fun to race on these streets in their cars. Obviously, you can probably put two and two together and figure out what goes wrong here. My brother and his girlfriend put the dog in the car and go sit in the front seat of the car. At this time, you can hear the cars racing down the street. They didn't even have a chance to put their seatbelt on. As soon as they get into the car, they look up and they see the headlights coming towards them. Two vehicles that are racing down the street. You can see the one that's on the wrong side of the street lose control and hit my brother head on. Their truck jumped back about 15 feet. 10, 20, I don't even know, I'm, you can see it in the video, jumped back. And this was a hefty Chevy pickup with a trailer on the back. That's a lot of impact. 
to push back that vehicle. They want people to know what happened and how this happened and how it could be prevented. We are so incredibly grateful that they are okay. They did go to the hospital. They've been doing testing. Had they been in that small car that they normally drive? I don't know. The driver, they let him go. Wasn't arrested. So I'm heading out to my grandma and my grandpa's house right now. Um, I'm gonna go see my brother, check on them. They wanna show me the car and um, show us how everything went down and then we'll show you guys the video. How are you guys? You know, like a roller coaster, you hold on real tight yeah. when you know something's about to happen. That's yeah. what I was doing. I was yeah. Cuts up like that. And like, this is gonna suck. Oh my god. Yeah. After all this, I think I'm never gonna buy my kids a small car. Like, trucks only. Well, fine too, because uh, the modern like, technology and safety standards it crumples around them, so it absorbs a lot of impact. That's why they were okay. I'm. Why were they? Is this where the car was right here? Well, we were up there. Right, like, right here. Oh, so you were parked oh, here. You see the tire tracks right there. It's oh, swerving. you can So we didn't overcorrect them that other lane. He's way over there, and it just swerves all the way. It's just like Lori's house. Like it's almost like it is targeted even though it's not yeah how do you get that precise right into the one vehicle that has people in it he could have gone there 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 and he went right into there just like Lori's house where he could have gone there 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 but he went right through this little area right into their living room it just doesn't make any sense he lost control back here you can see the tire tracks that kind of go out to the orchard here. All the way back here. Oh. I saw him go behind the other guy and I was like, that doesn't look good. You shouldn't be moving that much. So like, my keys weren't even yeah. in the ignition. Look at Bear. I can't believe Bear's okay. I can't believe it either. Huh? Wow. The firefighter was bringing up like how he sees them all the time too. And yeah. how he's scared they that they're going to hit his daughter's window because it's by the road. We know how easy it is to lose control and crash into a house and, and kill somebody. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you're speeding because you're drunk or if you're speeding because you're a jerk that's Seen. I yep. don't think they even gave him a sobriety test either. Someone said Bear was in the front seat after, so you put him yeah, in the back seat? The, I, the yeah, back. you can see me in the video, put him in the back seat uh -huh. and then he ended up in the front seat somehow. We saw them go racing and we were like, we don't want to go out because we don't want to get involved. And then we see um, the one that hit us go in the orchard. He was in the orchard? He went in the orchard because he was losing control 
and then he was swerving and then he was coming so fast he went in the dirt and then we see him and we're like oh no he's coming for us and Benny said he thought I hope my sweetie's okay and I was thinking I hope Benny's gonna be okay oh my God. and then we got hit it happened so fast it's racing like a, like a you know, intense you roller coaster ride I was like this is probably gonna hurt this is not gonna be fun and you Race. said you had a split second to decide if you had time to put your seatbelt on or not. Well, yeah, I was thinking, think like, maybe it. I should go outside and get out, but, like, no, it's, it's probably safer to be inside. Yeah. Jeez. We literally just got in the truck. The truck Even saved us, for sure. Even, Even without seatbelts, it saved us. Going... And you can hear them after, still in the video. Still you know, racing. Gonna... Yeah. It's just so, making the choice to do something that's going to... It's have a high a, high probability of hurting somebody or killing somebody. Or yourself. Yeah. It's just or yourself. upsetting that yeah. this guy might only have to pay five hundred dollars like or a thousand probably no jail time and oh, yeah. maybe he gets a suspended license. Yeah. This isn't okay, they would, like they would need to take it's it just not okay. They need to make harsher penalties for this because people just think, Oh, what's gonna happen to have to pay a thousand dollars? You could have killed us. And for what? So you could have a few minutes of going fast for joy? God they're gonna kill themselves or somebody else. Yeah. Out of they're lucky that they haven't done that yet if they're out here doing this all the time. Yeah, Killed themselves like, or somebody else. He lost control and crashed into the house. And you guys said that and I said out loud they've been in a car accident then Lori's triggering and I'm triggering like we're over almost overreacting yeah. because we're thinking back to that night when this happened to Lori. Yeah. Yep. 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 Where the pickup, my pickup is there. Yeah, uh -huh. you can he see him on the, the video thing. running he out here before the accident even happened. Yeah. He, he like this two intuition, this father's intuition. Yeah that something's gonna happen right yeah. now. I can't, I couldn't believe how he was running out here before it happened. That was crazy. And then they're hit and then he's like screaming out and you can hear it on the, did you see the video? Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. It's just really <laughs> surreal. Like you really don't know what it's like until you've been there. Like you, you hear things like this, but then you're just like, you just see it and you just feel so helpless and you can't even do anything. Yeah. You it's can't a, do anything yeah. at all or anything different. When I heard your dad, go. go. Oh, but this is yeah. terrifying. Yeah, it is terrifying to watch your kid get smashed to smithereens and you can't tell if they're dead or alive or injured. That was one of the questions they asked me in the interview. Too. They were like, what were you feeling whenever you were running yeah. out and you seen your kids yeah. getting smashed? How do you guys feel like, today? Terror. Uh, what can you do? You know, what can you, you do? Just, you just show up and you. the first thing is call for help. Mm -hmm. Second thing is look at their kids and, and see if they're okay. And they were moving around. They're responsive, and I'm like, oh, thank God. Yeah. I did the same thing for him, the other driver, and I went to go see him, and he said, yeah, I'm okay. And I'm like, okay, good. And then I went and grabbed the camera for my yeah. phone. I, had, I left the phone up there, and then there was the other cars that were involved. And I came through and I took their picture of the license plates good. to make sure. Not that I did any good, but right. But yeah, that was the whole sequence. And then after that, it's just everything's just. We always worry about it's like, oh my gosh, he's hurt, and people are showing up and asking questions. It trips me out that you were running out here before it happened. That I like hear it because they're down here. Well, okay, so we I knew that something was up already because there's car, we get cars coming out here all the time like yeah. this and blowing the stop signs. It's just, it's just you know, you can feel when you're out here for this long, you know when something's wrong. They had a convoy of cars. You've seen the, the clip. Yep. They they were going marching down that way, and I went out to look at them, and I they were just down there, just kind of halfway down, like something's up. And I went back in there, and I said, hey, something's going on. And so whenever I started hearing the cars revving up, I started coming out here because I know that Ben and Kim were out here at the same time. So I'm like running out here at the same time to come watch it. And it just so happened that they had just passed as I was approaching the Jeez. car. And I was just like, oh my gosh. I seen everything like right there. To watch your child it's and know. Feeling. Yeah, it's just like you're helpless. And you're just like so mad at everything. At yeah. Point, you're just like so frustrated. You just want to want to reach in there and just strangle it. And then uh, another frustrating thing is, you know, the, the guys in that party that were in that competition or whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. two of the cars stopped. And they didn't even care about Ben or Kimmy. Of course not. They went right to their friend. And then as soon as I started taking pictures, they got in their car and sped off. <laughs> God, no remorse. And then the car that was racing, he just continued to see <laughs> Never seen him again. Yeah, I noticed that. He crashed and the other guy just kept going. You hear the car accelerate. Yep, yep. He He's like... That. He hit that stop sign I think and he just took off. He's like, I'm out of here. Well, the first responders were probably here within 
five to ten minutes easy. I mean, we're a volunteer fire department out here, so you know, some people they're just neighbors. They're our neighbors, and they respond, and they were the first ones here, the ones that were closest to us. So. Wow, it's volunteer fire out here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. Why is that? The funding is not here to support a full staffed fire department. And we we cover. I think that the district out here was like something like almost 30 square miles. It's hard to, to staff a, a sparsely populated rural area with a, with a full-time fire department. So it's real common in rural areas all throughout the U.S. to have volunteer fire department. You notice stuff like this quite often out here. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's quite regular. It, it, they're out here all the time doing this crazy stuff. And, Right over here at that intersection there is the worst of it. You'll see people roll through that intersection, right here, not even stopping. One of the things that would help is that if you if you see something that's dangerous and it could hurt somebody, you should call it in. Mm -hmm. You should report it because what they do is it may not solve it for that one instance, but at least they keep a record of it and they actually will start to allocate resources if they get enough calls in a certain area to help it mitigate some of the issues that they might have. Jeez. Whenever it comes time to, to divide up what the word. What do you call? Just not emergency number? Make no, board? he said if it's going to endanger somebody's life that you could, if there's a life that could be hurt. You call 911. We knew it was happening. Yeah. That's why we started out here. Mm -hmm. Jeff said, oh, here they come. And we started coming out here, the pretty soon you just pow, and the crash. And he pushed that big truck with the trailer 10 feet back. You can see it in the video. What are they doing here? Who is that? that? That's the f***ing driver and his girlfriend. Stop it. No, oh I swear my to God. God. It is the guy. It is the guy, yeah. It is the guy. Maybe he's going to be apologetic. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he will be. So I'm the mother of the guy that you hit last <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like, like a little sorry or like a, wow, that was, I mean, that seconds before they were getting into the car, you could have squished them dead. And usually he drives that little tiny bit over there. I'm surprised that you're not dead. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I appreciate that you have the maturity to come and not just like, you know, run away or whatever. Yeah, that, that is. Something. That does take a lot of maturity. But how about your friends? I mean, they're gonna kill someone. Yeah. You guys got lucky that he didn't kill someone. I just wanted to take a picture of the, the license yeah. plate. I hope you pick some better friends. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They didn't yeah. care whether you lived or not. Sorry about being stupid last night. Yeah. And it was Appreciate really you my fault. Yeah. Thank God everybody's okay. The thing that you yeah. could yeah. could do the best for for me, you tell me to do it. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. want to cause any trouble at all. We want to be a good neighbor. Yeah. We don't want no trouble. We like the neighbors. We always Snuck. support them if they need help. We're always here. Yeah. But they shouldn't be creating trouble. Okay. If you can relay that, we'd really appreciate it. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting really scared of heights. I'm in the spotlight, not until midnight I want somebody to hold my hand Cause I got my head in the clouds But I'm getting really scared of heights I used to spend time with all my friends But who's gonna like me if I'm not there? Cause I got my head in the clouds But I'm getting really scared of heights